a black TV show series. Oh, oh, oh. Before we jump on into everything, I'm going to tell you guys what we're going to do. Hold on. If you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed and also hit the bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. Today's video is going to be the start of my black TV show thread, you guys. If you followed me on Twitter in 2016, you guys know this is something that I was super invested in. Like My dad gave me the idea back in the day to start a thread on Twitter of makeup looks that were inspired by black TV show threads. So, I mean, black, black TV show threads. Oops! black TV shows which you guys absolutely loved back in the day you guys always asked me to do YouTube tutorials but I have a bunch of TV shows that I've already done before but I'm gonna take like the core popular ones or the mainstream ones I guess you could say because to me they're all popular I watched them all the amens the 227s the good times the what's happening all of it I love those TV shows but everybody doesn't know what that is so today we're starting off with Fresh Prince everybody kind of knows what that is if you don't know what Fresh Prince of Bel Air is I don't know what to tell you he was West Philadelphia born and raised on the playground was where he spent most of his days <laughs> I need help so if you're ready to see how I created this neon, smoky looking eye, and you're just wanting to hear me ramble, then just keep on watching. I'm pulling inspiration from the colors that are on my backdrop and um, kind of the inspiration picture that I had on my computer. Y'all know I suck at editing, but if I can figure out how to pop up the picture that I was inspired by, it'll go here. The first time I did this thread, my makeup look, um, it was like half of my face was striped. I'm gonna pull up my thread just so I can stop rambling. Right now, this is my inspiration picture for the first time that I did it. Oh my gosh, 2016 me, yikes. But that's the look that I did. Oh, baby Tay Tay. Okay, so to carve out my brow, I'm using Too Faced Born This Way Concealer um, and then just this random concealer brush. But to prime my lids, I am going to drag this down some, but I'm going to take like a really, really, really light concealer and focus that more on the bottom portion of my lid and then kind of blend it up just to help try to make these colors stand out even more, even though they're neon AF. Now I'm going to take the NYX Can't Stop One Stop Concealer in the shade Pale because a bitch is pale. And then I'm going to take a Makeup Shack T31 and buff that out. I'm not really buffing it out, actually. I'm kind of pressing this into my eyelid. Before we do anything with any neon pigment, bam! Hello, do y'all see this? Tell me why this palette is $10.40 with Michael Taylor, but $10.40. I'm gonna let y'all, I'm gonna just show y'all how pigmented this thing is. Okay, let's. Okay, hey, stop focusing on my face and focus on my finger. Do y'all see that? One swirl, one swipe. This pigmentation is honestly fire. This palette is so good. Everything is just so creamy and pigmented and they blend out well and I didn't fight with it at all. Like I was honestly shook when I first used it because I just wasn't expecting it to be that good. Like I was expecting it to be good, but I didn't think I was gonna like it like that. Okay, so now I'm going to take a Makeup Shack T33, and then I'm going to take this Royal and Lang Nickel Eyeshader Brush, and it's in the um, number BMD 466, and I'm going to dip into my Neon Orange Pigment. So my pigments are from Helene Cosmetics. I'm going to dip into the orange and this Rainforest Palette from the Makeup Shack. And I'm going to kind of mix this and the Neon. I'm going to lay this down first. I know it probably looks super crazy, but I'm going in like a circular shape to make sure I get the desired shape that I want. I don't really want like a cat eye. And instead of like picking the brush up like this and blending it out, 
I'm gonna kind of wiggle my brush onto my eyelid just to disperse the product but without like disrupting it too much to where you have patches all over your eyelid because this stuff these pigments can get real patchy real fast if you're not careful I guess I didn't really tell you what I did just now <laughs> I suck okay so then I took the neon yellow that I purchased and I took a makeup shack t74 and with that t74 I kind of just packed a little of that color at the edge where I put that orange and then I buffed it out I'm gonna go in with a makeup shack t53 and the neon green and I'm just going to place that in my inner corner but as I'm packing it I'm kind of bringing it up and I'm gonna go in with a makeup shot T81 and I'm gonna blend out those edges There was a small um, space on my lid where I didn't really have any color there. So I just went ahead and packed some orange on top of it. And now I'm kind of just blending everything out to make sure it's seamless. Okay, so I know I still look crazy right now, but I think this eye is coming together. I went ahead and put my Too Faced concealer underneath my eyes in the shade. <laughs> I don't know why I have the hiccups. Excuse me. I used the shade Light Beige in my Born This Way concealer to cover up my concealer, to cover up my concealer, Taylor Boy, to cover up my under eyes. Um, but I'm going to let that sit for a second and then I'm going to blend that out with the Makeup Check Concealer Brush, the same one that I used to blend out my eye base. And then we're going to move on to the lower lash line. So I just went in with the lightest pink pigment that I have, which is this color, but it's a lighter neon pink. And then I have more of a, like, a magenta color. I don't know why there's green in there too, but this is like the magenta color, and then I'll put it next to the other pink so you guys can see what they look like. And then the last color that I used on my lower lash line is this purple. I feel like honestly, the concealer sat there for long enough. I can go ahead and blend that out. And I'm not setting it before I go in to do my eyeshadow. I'm just placing this down, blending it out. You guys, I love this brush for concealing. I never really use brushes on my face, but for whatever reason today, we're using a full face of brushes. So, I'm gonna go ahead and press this into my under eye. And once my bags are concealed, go make sure they're gone for a while. Sorry, I got so distracted. I didn't even realize that I wasn't recording when I did my lower lash line. But, like I told y'all, I did the lighter pink in here the darker pink right here and then the purple on the outer corner and I just packed it on with the brush like you saw me doing and then I kind of just buffed it out. I'm going to take Inheritance out of the ABH Riviera palette which is a gold and then I'm going to spray my brush and then I'm going to press this where that orange and that green meet. I kind of just wanted a little area where I could kind of make the whole look look seamless which now I'm starting to feel like didn't really help much. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little glitter glue from Models Own. And then this NYX glitter in the shade 5. Okay, so now that I basically have my eyes the way I want them for right now, I'm going to go ahead and throw my face on. Um, for foundation, I'm going to use the same foundation combination that I used in my last video, which was the Frankie Cosmetics um, foundation in the shade Olive and Bear. And I'm going to throw those on my face with the um, so, same brush I used in my last video. This is a Makeup Shack T5, so I'm going to put that on my face, and um, we're just going to give a move on. Okay, so what can we talk about? So I, you guys, will never believe what's about to come out of my mouth. I can't even believe what's about to come out of my mouth. Like, Taylor, how did you do this? How did you get there? I, I don't know. I don't know. I went to Austin on Friday for a casting call. And this casting call was for Michael Costello. I couldn't tell y'all at the time because we weren't allowed to talk about the fashion show. So I walk into the casting. It's literally him sitting at the table. Michael himself 
It's like, hi. I'm like, hey, I'm here to walk for you. <laughs> but yeah, no, long story short, he watched us walk. He recorded us and uh, took pictures of us while we walked. We got to try on a couple pieces, some shoes, and we walked in those again. Um, and then after that, he basically let us know about some information, some callback information, and then we just waited around. So from then, we that was like 12.30 when we went. We had to wait till like 5.30, 6 o'clock, almost 7. Yeah, like it was like 5.36 before we heard something back from them. Um, and Leanne got a call back. I didn't. But at the same time, I kind I like, yes, I was confident in what I was doing, but while I was walking, I, I did kind of mess up a little bit. And then on top of that, like I said, I just started this. So I really don't know all the ins, ins and outs of modeling yet. Keyword, yet. Yeah. That was just a really huge opportunity and I would have hated to have been casted. And then when it came time for the cameras to be on me, I'm just like, <clears throat> I just feel like I'm not really prepared enough, yes. I went to just give it a shot to see, like, I don't know, that's just a once in a lifetime opportunity. You don't pass things up like that. But at the same time, I couldn't be mad at not being casted because I'm honestly an amateur. Like, I'm just now starting. So I respected that. I took that and I, I'm good. <laughs> but yeah, no, I could have easily um, been upset when I got a no or just didn't get a call back. But I just took that as... A learning experience just because somebody says no doesn't mean it's no forever that just means no right now um so once i get my shit together and i really know what i'm doing michael i'm coming for you honey like <laughs> period um but no he was super sweet and that's that day we went and we walked for him it was just me and my friends in there so there weren't any other models in there um it was really intimate and he was just very nice like the fact that he remembered me you guys he asked my friend like how I felt like for behind not being casted and she was just telling him that like I was super supportive and that was good and I didn't take it to heart and I will never take something like that to heart especially from somebody like him he I just there's just no way in hell I would get offended by constructive criticism especially from somebody that just knows what they're talking about you know that would be absolutely insane. Did a little work and not a lot of work and that I would like he would never cast me? No, he just said that I needed a little work and that he liked me but he had already casted so many girls that he couldn't cast me. So I, <coughs> that's what I like to hear, <laughs> period, because I'm coming to cut next. Do you hear me? This honestly is really crazy how life pans out. Like. If you would have told me three weeks ago, I would be dancing with Michael, meeting Michael Costello, going to casting calls frequently, and actually trying to pursue modeling, I probably would have laughed in your face. Not even gonna lie. Actually, no, I definitely would have laughed in your face because I wouldn't have believed it. Like, I just really cannot believe this is my life right now, but I'm loving every second of it. Um, yeah, it's just, you gotta enjoy it. There are good and bad things honestly when it comes to living life every day like there are gonna be things that are gonna piss you off but just focus on the good like I said today was hard especially earlier this morning like I really just did this it kind of goes with the look huh the West Philadelphia go on a raid do you see how the devil tries do you see how he tries? It's funny that as soon as I started talking about taking the good with the bad, that's what happens to me. You not winning, devil, period. Okay, I lied. I'm using this brush and I haven't used an angled brush to put blush on in so long. I said blush, like bronzer, contour, all of that good stuff. I really like this. It's a Makeup Shack T28. I remember when I was in Atlanta with Sky, she was like, do you have a white angled? Um, like a goat hair angle brush, and I was like, girl, I don't use them. <laughs> Why not? Whip Lashes was nice enough to send me some more. I used their lashes in my last video, and I really like them. Um, so she sent me some more lashes, and I think I'm going to use the style Addiction today. This is what Addiction looks like.
Okay, I lied, I'm adding to this look. <laughs> I found this, I just saw my white um, liner in one of my bins. And it just made me wanna do detailing <laughs> on um, my eye because my backdrop has like white paint splatters in the background. And also back in the day, I used to do dots on my eyes all the time. Um, if you saw my sister's sister look, then you probably noticed the dots on my eyes back in 2016. But I had dots in here and then like on my outer corner, they were just pink and green to the sister sister look. But we're gonna do them in white today because they're white on my backdrop. Excuse me? Cover effects? What do you think you're doing to me right now? Okay, that was a little too much. Come on, Taylor. Calm down. I got this um, Cover FX palette in the last BoxyCharm box. Huh? You guys, they snapped. I'm so mad that I forgot that it was down there because I really wanted to try like the bronzer and stuff. But I mean, I guess I still kind of can. I don't have blush on, so I'm going to use the blush out of this palette. It's like a really pretty. Oh my gosh, it is really pretty. A really pretty kind of pinky coral shade. She's beautiful. Okay, so I haven't sprayed my face yet. I'm gonna go in with the new ABH Dewy Set. And you guys, I've used this multiple times at this point, and I absolutely love it. It really does leave your face looking dewy. I really feel like it's comparable to the Tatcha spray. Um, I don't know how much it costs though. That Tatcha spray is hella expensive though, so. If ABH is cheaper, I would definitely recommend doing the ABH one. I like the smell of the ABH spray too. Um, it does have like kind of like a fragrance to it, but I don't mind it. You know what? I love lip liner and I kind of wish it was the year of the lip liner. So everybody is coming out with different formulas, textures, colors. Because that's what I feel like I want more of. Liner. No ma'am, no ham and no motherfucking turkey because no <laughs> that was just a no pat never fails me period look at her show off eh. i swear lips what okay so this is it for the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed if you're not um but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video let me know that down below in the comments and i will see you guys next time i love you peace